is the uh, ED Social Economic Research and Development uh, Center. Good morning, Mr. Tijani. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for joining us as well. There is a new national budget that has been uh, amended from 28.7 trillion naira to 35.5 trillion naira. Well, this, uh, I believe, is in line with accommodating some other uh, uh, fiscal infrastructures that have been omitted in the first budget. What do you make of this? Thank you so much. So, uh, uh, section 58 of section 2 of the 1999 constitution gives the federal government the right to amend the uh, appropriation act to fit in uh, such supplementary but the whole idea is that the budget is uh, one of the most important government policy instruments which is expected to be deployed to stimulate broad-based economic growth reduce inequality address issues of poverty and infrastructural gaps but uh we, while Nigerians are actually expecting uh, more spending from the side of government, it's also important to understand, for the government to understand that, I, that there are other issues in the, the 2024 Appropriation Act that is still begging for attention. And I think that the president can go, uh, can start by looking at those issues around the frivolities in the 2024 budget. If he's really serious about building accountability mechanisms in addressing most of the uh, the leakages and frivolities in the budget in processes. Well, what what frivolities uh, would you say are in the budget that you think uh, should not really be given much attention to? We all know that there is a new minimum wage that has been agreed by the NLC and the federal government, and this amendment of the uh, uh, budget is also to accommodate, uh, as part of many other things, the new minimum wage. So, what what, what frivolities are we talking about here? Yes, so uh, the issue, uh, we, are, we understand that yes, the, uh, the new appropriation uh, act uh, also addresses the issues of the minimum wage yeah, and also some other infrastructure that, the, that is being uh, capped as uh, the renewed hope, hope infrastructure and all that. But what we are saying is that uh, as an organization that has been working in, on the, in the area of budget uh, transparency and accountability, we are saying that there are a lot of issues that government needs to look into if it's really serious about uh, uh, building accountability and transparency around this budget process. Every year, the budget has become a virtual process that uh, uh, is being recycled. And most of the issues that have been for attention uh, are especially on these issues around the inefficient expenditures and waste. Uh, we, we, Nigeria are all that are talking about the uh, the issues around reducing cost of governance. And if you look at the budget today, you still see some of those expenditures that are irrelevant. Actually, at a time when Nigeria, when Nigerians are undergoing a lot of economic crisis and uh, it's affecting many households, so government should invest more in health, in social protection uh, programs. That will that will be, that will support households uh, uh, to pull out of the current poverty situation that uh, the current economic situation has uh, re has uh, pushed Nigeria into uh, such a. Well, yeah. well, if you're talking about social pro uh, protection uh, uh, acts or bills. Uh, as part of the new appropriation act, uh, the police act amendment bill has also uh, been captured in the broader image. Isn't that a move in the right direction? Yeah, uh, we Con while, considering, while, considering while, there yes. are, while there are still some issues that to be addressed, because a lot of uh, civil society organizations and CDB also uh, 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 had issues with the way the speed at which the police act was uh, uh, amended and assented to law. But the issue that we, that is very is, is of concern to Nigerians is about the current economic situation that Nigerians are, are actually Thank find you. themselves in. Budget practices should be done in such a way that each, uh, those cor uh, each, issues, remedial actions that will, uh, that will reduce corrupt acts around the budget should be reduced. We start to see a budget, uh, budget that uh, on some key agencies that are not even in the budget. Like in the last president of President Mohamed Buhari, uh, the last administration of Buhari, there were commitments that all 
NDAs will have their point, their budgets reflected in the in their profession as. But also to that I'm talking to you, the Nigeria Port Authority, the master and most, most there are some government agencies that we, up to now their budgets are not in the national budget. And these are public spending. We also see the issue of lump sums allocated to agencies like the National Assembly and others. Why don't you bring it down so that Nigerians can know what exactly is being uh, the National Assembly and most of these agencies are actually spending, how they are spending it. Nigerians demand to know how public funds are utilized. So the budget process, beyond issues of uh, creating uh, uh, more uh, spend, uh, opening more doors for more spending, government should build those mechan accountability mechanisms to ensure that budget processes are more transparent and more accountable so that citizens can have that confidence and build trust in what uh, how government is, spend, is spending their uh, public finances. Well, uh, it's, it's important that citizens, you know, build trust in the government and their policies. Uh, well, let's also look at this from the angle of the effects, socio-economic effects that it could have on the lives of every single Nigerian out there from the top to the bottom. What is expected with uh, this new development? How does it affect the bank manager? How does this affect the civil servants in the ministry? How does this affect the market woman selling her tomatoes in the market? What, what are we seeing? They, what are we factoring into with regards to all of this? Well, uh, more spending is actually expected because uh, in situations like this, it's important that women spend more and show that more funds get into circulation and all that. But if you look at uh, why, why we all celebrate the fact that uh, the wage bill finds itself into the uh, appropriation law, and uh, we have uh, the uh, public servant actually will uh, at least uh, have a review of what they are earning. Yeah, in as much as most of us agree that that is still not the the the, 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 the minimum wage of seventy thousand is still not enough considering the current economic situation, but it's still a way to go. And we believe that yes, such commitment will also have a a sounding effect on on households, especially. Uh, you have one minute remaining. Uh, a, a breadwinner supporting so she. Well, we uh, just lost connection with uh, Mr. Tijani Abdul Karim. But if you can hear us, thank you very much for uh, sharing your thoughts with us on this uh, very pressing national issue. Well, that has been Tijani Abdul Karim, Executive Director, Social Economic Research and Development Center. I'm afraid this is where we draw the conclusion on uh, this particular segment of the show. Don't go away just yet. We